An update now on an I-Team investigation of a doctor formerly at Ascension St. Vincent's Hospital. As we've been reporting, Dr. David Heakin is accused in lawsuits of operating on patients for years while suffering a progressive neurological condition that caused him to lose his balance and slur his speech. Plaintiffs have filed audio recordings they say are dictations the doctor made in the operating room immediately after performing surgeries toward the end of his career. I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell is joining us with the new developments. Ann? Tom, today I heard from one of the plaintiff's attorneys that they've already filed 377 lawsuits about this, and they're expecting to file at least 100 more. In those suits, they say Dr. Heakin and St. Vincent's knew or should have known he was unfit to practice, but they let him continue to operate on patients anyway. Earlier this month, the plaintiffs filed 10 audio clips that sound like this. All as part of their argument that punitive damages should be on the table. Hi, I'm Dr. David Heakin, Medical Director of the Orthopedic Center of Excellence at St. Vincent's. This video of orthopedic surgeon Dr. David Heakin was taken in 2015, plaintiffs say. One of the plaintiff's attorneys told the I-Team this audio recording of him was made five years later in the operating room post-surgery. As a physician assistant closed up the still unconscious patient. Lock up here, David Heakin, H-E-K-N-M-D-M-D-K. I'm going to do it on Stephen D. Fourier, F-O-R-T-I-E-R. That patient is now one of hundreds of people suing Dr. Heakin, the Heakin Clinic, and St. Vincent's, alleging the surgeon began to be affected by progressive supranuclear palsy in 2016, but the hospital continued to let him operate for years. According to the Mayo Clinic, that brain disorder gets worse over time and results from deterioration in areas of the brain that control body movement, coordination, thinking, and other functions. Symptoms include loss of balance, vision problems, and slow or slurred speech. What's the risk of gravity spent checking the, the, the TB with them playing a TB component? Um, period, the knee was held full extension with the... In a lawsuit, the patient who underwent surgery that day alleges Dr. Heakin negligently caused an injury to their tendon and they had to go in for two revision surgeries. Plaintiffs allege this is Dr. Heakin in the operating room in February 2020 after a knee surgery they claim was unnecessary and fractured the patient's femur. A 75-year-old male has his progressive right knee pain, which is become a fracture femur. And the way I'm demonstrated by findings. And they allege this was from the operating room on March 2, 2020, after performing a knee replacement on a patient who tested positive for MRSA before the surgery. They also allege the patient's knee tendon ruptured the next day. 2020 prep diagnosis, right knee degenerative disease, secondary osteoarthritis operation, right tendon replacement. Dr. Heakin retired the following month, later revealing in a deposition that his medical condition contributed to his decision to retire. An attorney for St. Vincent's declined to comment, but in a document filed in court today, they argue the plaintiffs have not met their burden of demonstrating that the hospital's conduct warrants permitting plaintiffs to add a claim for punitive damages. They also argue the plaintiffs aren't entitled to seek punitive damages because they previously rejected the hospital's offer of arbitration pursuant to a statute that prohibits plaintiffs from seeking punitive damages after rejecting such an offer. And there is a hearing on plaintiff's, plaintiff's motion to seek punitive damages scheduled for next week, where the plaintiffs will have the opportunity to respond to the defense's argument. Court records show St. Vincent's has accepted liability in some of the mal malpractice claims involving Dr. Heakin while denying wrongdoing in others. We reached out to attorneys for Dr. Heakin and the Heakin Clinic today, but have not heard back. Live in Riverside and Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.